Hey, what's up everybody? So Zadius Tech back again because Sony has released PlayStation System Software Update 8.50 for the PS4. So as some of you already know, the PS4 System Software Update can cause your PS4 to become unusable. So make sure to watch this video before you install because I have some important information for you guys. First of all, if you go and you try to play an online game, say Rocket League, you're going to get this message it says update the system software to use network features. So you're pretty much required to install the latest system software update, which is 8.50. It just got released on April 14th. Okay. So if you guys have not already downloaded the update and installed it, I highly, highly recommend that you back up your PS4 saved games. Make sure that you have access to all your saved game data, especially for your single player games, not so much for multiplayer, such as Call of Duty, because that information stored on their servers but stuff like the last of us single player games like that you're gonna definitely want to back up your files because if something happens with the update and it doesn't work your ps4 can become unusable and it's very difficult to get it working again and sometimes the only way to get it working is to wipe it clean and start fresh from the beginning that means you will not have your saved games if you haven't backed them up so go ahead and back them up to a usb drive if you have one if you guys don't already have PlayStation Plus, I definitely highly recommend that because PlayStation Plus saves all your game data to the cloud to PlayStation servers. So your data is safe in the cloud. Let's say you do have to wipe your PS4. You can re-download all your save games back to your PS4 and get going again. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to be the guinea pig and try 8.50 on my PS4 and see if it bricks my PS4. That means it renders it unusable. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to go over to settings. So one thing I also want to mention is that I've already set up my PS4 not to automatically download and install PS4 system software updates because if you put your PS4 into rest mode, the very next morning when you wake up, guess what? The PS4 might have tried to install the PS4 system software update and then you're going to get a nice black screen that says cannot start the PS4 and then you're in a world of hurt. So do what I recommend and disable that feature that automatically installs a PS4 system software update. Do it yourself manually after you backed up your saved games. Okay, so if you don't see the update show up in your notifications, you can go to your settings, go to system software update, and it's gonna check to see if there's an update there. There we go. So it's added to downloads. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on view details because it's some important information you guys need to know about. So I'm not going to bore you with the details related to party messages, but the one that a lot of people are salty about is the communities are no longer available on PS4. So starting with 8.50, communities are gone. Now communities are not something that I use a lot, but I know a lot of people do. So just keep that in mind that after you install this update, you will not see communities on your PS4 anymore. So apparently Sony's bringing this feature to the PS5, but Good luck getting a PS5 because it's really hard to get right now. So the only other feature update that concerns me is the one where it says it's going to update the file format of extended storage. So it says when you connect an extended storage device, its file format will be updated. After that, you won't be able to use the device on a PS4 that has a previous version of the system software. That means that no matter what, if you want to use your external device, you will always have to be on the current version that matches or is higher than what's on your extended storage device. So just keep that in mind that that's going on with this update. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go to next and I'm going to go ahead and try this update now. So I'm going to hit X for update and it's going to go ahead and prepare this update for installation. Now, if everything goes well, the update will get installed. My PS4 will restart and I will see the nice blue screen. If something goes wrong, I will see a black screen that says cannot start the PS4 or it will say insert a USB with the latest PS4 system software update for reinstallation. So let's see what happens. Hopefully this does not break my PS4 crossing my fingers here. Okay. So we see here it's installing the update file. Now, a lot of times what happens is problems occur is when it's installing the update file and your hard drive on your PS4 is already going bad. So when that happens, more than likely, you're going to have to switch out your PS4 hard drive and install a new one. Now, under no circumstances, should you need to buy a new PS4? So don't do that. Before you do that, please, please replace the hard drive and reinstall the PS4 system software update using a USB drive. That's the only way to do it when you get a new hard drive. I have plenty of guides on that. 
search for my channels ADS tech on YouTube. And as you guys see here, the communities icon is gone. It's completely gone. So no more communities. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the removal of communities down in the comments. Did you guys use it or not? Are you mad about it? Let me know. I'm curious to know. All right, guys. So hopefully the system software update went well for you guys. If it didn't, I have plenty of free tutorials on how to fix your PS4 in the event that the PS4 system software update ruins your PS4 and it's not starting up again. You get that dread it cannot start the PS4 error or install a USB drive with the reinstallation file for the PS4. So I already have a ton of videos out there on how to fix your PS4. I will leave the most comprehensive video I have at the end of this video. So if you tried every single fix in that comprehensive video and you're still having problems, or maybe you just need some hand holding, you're not familiar with what to do, it's all very confusing. I have one more option for you guys if you need extra help. I do have a private Discord where you can chat with me one on one and we can exchange screenshots and you can show me videos of what is happening on your PS4 and I can help you with your specific problem to get your ps4 system working again i've already helped several people get their ps4 fixed that way and they were really grateful so if you guys want to access the private discord go ahead and click on the join button on my channel that's going to take you to a screen where you can join the channel and access my private discord all right and before i go i want to thank all the people who have supported my channel my channel members Thank you so much. Such as those people donating to my channel using the Buy Me A Coffee website, as well as those using the applause button on YouTube app on Android, as well as on PC. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video, and I hope this PS4 update worked for you guys. See you then.